Radar-accurate eyes survey the land. Slotted feathers adjust flight paths. As falcons attack, pelicans soar, kestrels hover, owls silently fly, parrots flock, vultures swarm, and eagles swoop. Which is the true master of the sky? Masters of all they survey, the dynamic raptors are magnificent birds of prey. Revered for over 2,000 years as a symbol of speed and power, the peregrine falcon was a favorite with Egyptian and Chinese falconers. With long yellow legs, large black clawed feet, and supremely powerful vision, the bird hunting peregrine strikes fear in the skies. Waiting for its moment, the falcon takes off in low, fast flight. The peregrine is capable of taking birds much larger and stronger than itself even up to the size of a heron. But for an average meal, the feral pigeon is a firm favorite. Although appearing similar in size, pigeons are around half the weight of the peregrine. In level flight, the sturdy pigeon may occasionally outfly the peregrine, but the falcon is a formidable hunter and the pigeon is far from safe. The pigeon may be fast, but the peregrine falcon is the fastest animal on Earth. Flying at a great height, the peregrine goes into a stoop, a high-speed dive that can reach over 300 kilometers per hour. At this point, the pigeon's fate is sealed. Such active hunting techniques produce high energy needs, and the peregrine is an aggressive and highly adept aerial hunter. Almost three times faster than a cheetah, the peregrine falcon is a true master of the sky. When these petite, brightly colored budgies take to the air above the arid lands of Australia, they color the skies green and yellow. A budgie's pointed wingspan, around 30 centimeters, carry these small ground-feeding parrots to their daily food and water. Highly scheduled in their drinking habits, budgies drink 5.5% of their 30-gram body weight every day. Huge flocks gather around the waterholes of the Australian outback. But the budgies are not alone. For the bite-sized budgie, danger lurks overhead as fast-flying raptors survey the scene. In flocks packedly tied with thousands of birds, budgies are afforded some safety in numbers as they wheeled and changed direction as a single mass. But falcons and kites are natural born bird hunters and a single bird of prey can change the course of a flock of thousands. The long pointed wings of the black falcon mark the presence of this sleek, fierce aerial hunter. 
Hunting either by a stoop from on high or by direct attack and vigorous chase, the black falcon has even been known to rob other raptors of their kill. The bird hunter brings chaos to the budgie-filled skies. Their large wing area affords them prolonged soaring time, and hunting on the wing means these attackers can follow through post-impact, lessening the blow they must absorb. For the dainty budgie, these birds can mean the end. The black falcon rears its chicks in the large stick nests of another bird. The male bringing food to his young held high in the treetop nursery. This unfortunate budgie will bring strength and nutrition to the growing raptors. At around six weeks of age, these chicks will have taken on the darker color of their parents and will be grown enough to take the first flight on wings that will allow them to rule the skies. Some animals inspire awe and respect by their presence alone. The wedge-tailed eagle, the largest bird of prey in Australia, is one such animal. The emblem of the Air Forces, police forces and wildlife services, the wedge-tailed eagle is the ultimate symbol of strength, power and freedom. Preferring wooded and forested land and open country, wedge-tailed eagles soar from low flight to two kilometers high on outstretched wings that span over two and a half meters. For prominent perches, they scan the countryside with sophisticated binocular vision. The bony rings that surround the eyes can squeeze and elongate the eyeball, acting like a telephoto lens, enlarging the image they see. With precise distance measurement, they pinpoint their prey. Long slotted flight feathers on immensely powerful wings carry the four kilogram eagle low over land. Its ability to soar close to the ground make it a supreme hunter of small ground dwelling mammals. Both hunter and carrion eater the wedge-tailed eagle can spend over an hour airborne, searching the land below. Territorial birds, they have been known to attack hang gliders and parachutists that have come too close to their nests. Capable of carrying half their body weight and grasping talons, prey is often found by slow quartering flight as they fly between 10 and 20 meters above the ground. Unless there are chicks to be fed back at the nest, the kill is usually eaten where it is captured, immense hooked bills tearing through flesh. Rabbits are a firm favorite of these most magnificent of birds. These graceful formation flying birds that soar on thermals high above the ground are some of the largest and most engaging of all the water birds. Pelican species range in color from the aptly named brown pelican of the Americas through the shades of mottled gray to the distinctive black and white plumage of the Australian pelican. Widespread over freshwater, estuarine and marine wetlands and waterways, 
Australian pelicans are large social creatures, distinctive bills and rotund bodies setting them aside from other water birds. Making their movement rather heavy on land, their webbed feet make pelicans superb swimmers, perfectly adapted for their aquatic lifestyle. Yet when these huge birds take themselves to the skies in great flocks, they become powerful and elegant flyers. Australian pelicans can stand between one and two meters tall with yellow ringed eyes that stare out of white feathered faces. Yet it is their pink bill that is truly remarkable. The longest bill of any living bird, the bill of the Australian pelican with its hooked tip can reach 47 centimeters in length. Huge distendable pouches on the lower mandibles act like a net and scoop up vast quantities of fish. Newly hatched naked chicks feed on regurgitated food. They will get their feathers at around eight weeks of age and will attempt their first flight at about three months. By the time this chick is fully grown, it will eat just under 10 kilograms of fish every day. Pelicans are gregarious animals, living in large colonies and sharing their habitat with many other birds that take advantage of the water's edge and everything that it has to offer. When it comes to wing size, the pelican dwarfs its fellow water birds, having a wingspan that rivals that of the wedge-tailed eagle. On the other side of the world, the brown pelican of the Americas, the smallest of the pelican family, takes advantage of the rising warm air, soaring on thermals as they travel over the oceans. Unlike other pelicans, the brown pelican is an expert diver plunging gannet-like to retrieve deep swimming fish, master of both water and air. Of the eight and a half thousand species of birds in the world, just under 300 of them are seabirds. Ranging from those that are migratory and dispersive, to those that are rarely seen away from their breeding colonies. The long-winged birds that live a life of sea and air are truly free. A member of the gregarious gannet family, the masked booby breeds on islands in tropical oceans. Nesting close to clear, deep water, these incredible divers can fish 12 meters below the surface chasing after fish and squid on which they and their chicks depend. Masked boobies, in most cases, lay two eggs with several days in between each. The elder chick ejects the younger from the nest, increasing its own chances of survival as it depends on the expert foraging skills of its parents for its first few months of life. Unlike the masked booby, the sooty tern is one of the elite bird species that can hover. To do so, they need to be facing into the wind, which then flows over the airfoil of their wings, giving them enough lift to hover for a few precious seconds. Breeding is one of the few times these migratory birds come to land for any real length of time. Thank <laughs> you. 
in jerky courtship displays, mates circle around each other with slightly dropped wings, calling softly with their bills pointing downwards. Noisy birds. A breeding colony is seldom, if ever, quiet, as the incessant high-pitched calls sound out. The reason for the sooty tern's other name, the wide awake. These impressive birds can stay at sea for phenomenally long periods of time. From fledgling until they first come back to nest, four or five years later, they will seldom touch land. To help them do this, they have an incredible ability to take one or two second micro naps while flying. While at sea, they feed on the fish driven up to the surface by tuna and other underwater predators. These amazing terns really are true birds of the sea. Guardian of the forest, keeper of wisdom, and soul behind all seeing eyes, barn owls evoke an eerie respect from all those who encounter them. Nocturnal hunters, these mystical birds have taken stealth hunting to a degree beyond all others. Flying between trees on dark nights, the owl's success is its silence. Hunting in darkness, it relies on superb hearing to locate the small ground mammals it seeks. Its approach must be completely without sound. Huge wings give highly controlled flight as its heart-shaped face directs the tiny noises given off by potential prey to its inner ear. Soft, fringed feathers on long, wide wings reduce the loud turbulence of flight, while their velvety surface reduces any friction noise between feathers. With silent precision, the barn owl hunts in the darkest of forest nights. Constantly scanning the open plains of Africa are the highly tuned eyes of the famous birds that clean up these savannas. Vultures in full flight present an elegant sight, soaring on powerful wings, eyes trained on the land below, some flocking together, others taking a more solitary path. Famed carrion eaters, Vultures spend hours aloft on thermals, soaring on air currents as they scan the landscape for signs of food. Exploiting columns of warm air that rise up over 1,500 meters, vultures have been known to travel 75 kilometers using a mere half dozen of these thermals. Healthy living animals need not fear the vulture. These powerful birds are carrion specialists, with different vultures having different roles and specializations. Lapid-faced vultures tend to be more solitary birds than the smaller white-backed vultures that tend to flock. In the vulture world, many eyes make light work, as feeding groups attract the attention of others from several kilometers away, who quickly join the feeding site. It can take just moments before a carcass is covered in a feathered frenzy.
there are others that keep a watchful eye on proceedings. Smaller white-backed vultures, the most common of the African vultures, cannot rip through hide, but specialize on the soft muscle, organ tissue, and bone fragments of the feast, while powerful lapid-faced vultures tear through the knotty muscle and hide of mammals. Even more animals are drawn to join in. Although hunting much more of their food than they scavenge, the hyena is an expert opportunist and will be unlikely to overlook a beckoning meal. With massively powerful jaws, the hyena's ability to tear through meat, hide, and bone surpasses that of even the largest of these aerial carnivores. Vultures tend to give way to mammalian competition. Among themselves, occasional conflicts over hierarchy break out. As hippo, elephant, and rhino die, wildebeest and zebra drown during their annual migrations, and nature takes its toll on the large mammals of the plain. Its scavengers, both of land and air, ensure that nothing goes to waste. Over the open landscapes of Australia flies its smallest falcon, the long-tailed, long-winged, inquisitive Nanking kestrel. Not much over 30 centimeters long and weighing under 300 grams, this delicate kestrel is a master of making itself at home, breeding on cliffs, on the ledges of buildings, and in the hollows of trees. The success of this little bird of prey is due in part to its ability to tolerate and thrive in a range of habitats and on a range of foods. Unlike other falcons, the kestrel does not rely on the incredible speeds reached by its peregrine cousin. This little falcon uses another hunting method. It can hover. Rapid wing beats combined with a rudder-like fan tail keep its head and body still. Selecting its prey from its aerial vantage point, the kestrel drops nearer to the ground until it is close enough to pounce. Small mammals, crickets, spiders and grasshoppers are all fair game. While some insects and smaller birds are plucked out mid-air, most of the kestrel's prey is firmly on the ground. breeding every year, Nanking kestrels often mate for life, their chicks ready to leave the nest at just a month old. At first, they will follow their parents, flying to them and taking food at a perch. After two more months, they are ready to fend for themselves and begin the life of a bird on the wing. Falcons that fly faster than the turn of a head. Eagles that carry off young wallabies. Vultures that clean the African plains. Which 
is the true master of the sky.